Hello. Calling Gauranga. No, before that, Malin Lapur initiated the Then Gauranga meets The paintings are there. Mataji, you don't want to build
His divine grace, A.C. Bhakti Miran Swami, Srila Prabhupada, this one, Samstapaka Charya, Srila Prabhupada, Bhagavan has to come. 
Advaita Acharya thought, I myself, I cannot do it. Although he is Mahavishnu, although he is Vishnu Tattva, but he said, I cannot do it. I need the Supreme Lord. He has to personally come and deliver all the souls. So Ganga used to flow here and Advaita Acharya, when he was residing here, he would offer the Tosi leaves into the Ganga and he would call to the Lord to come, please, please, you come, come here. And at that time, Advaita Acharya was in the company of Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur had come also to live here in Shantipur. You can see over there is the temple of Haridas. So Haridas Thakur was chanting the holy name. There, over there they say Haridas was initiated by Advaita Acharya, but we never heard that anywhere. <laughs> uh, uh, Haridas Thakur was chanting every day three like names. So if you just chant all day and don't do anything else, you don't need initiation. If you're just going to chant, you're not going to do anything else, you're not going to say anything or speak or do anything, or ask any questions, you don't want to hear, you just chant, okay, you don't need initiate, just chant. It says in Chaitanya Charitamrita, you don't need initiation for chanting the holy name. If you're just going to chant, but if you see that purport in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, there are five pages, and Prabhupada emphatically declares, a, co a, co a, co a quotes the commentaries of different acharyas that you do need initiation. That's very important. You have to get initiation. Anyway, Haridas was very special personality. He was Lord Brahma and Prahlad Maharaj, and he came to take part in Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. And it said that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world, at that time, Advaita Acharya and Haridas together, they were chanting the holy name here in Shantipur. They were in ecstasy dancing and chanting the holy name. So Advaita Acharya had another house up in Mayapur, just near to the Yoga Peak. And when Sachimata gave birth to a child, then Advaita Acharya went there with his wife and they went to see the child. And at that time, Advaita Acharya didn't know, is this the Lord or not? He didn't know what's happening. But anyway, later on, more and more signs were visible. And Advaita Acharya understood that this Nimai Pandit is actually the Lord himself who's come. So, down the hill here, you can see the place where Madhavendra Puri gave initiation to Advaita Acharya. Advaita Acharya was initiated himself by Madhavendra Puri, very, very great spiritual master. And uh, Madhavendra Puri's two prominent disciples were Advaita Acharya and Ishwara Puri. And later on, Ishwara Puri went on to become the Acharya after Madhavendra Puri. And Ishwara Puri also became the spiritual master, the Diksha Guru of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, Advaita Acharya received Madhavendra Puri here in this place. And he understood Madhavendra Puri was a great devotee, was a great sannyasi. And he took shelter, took initiation from him. And the, on, the, on the left side, as you go down the hill, there's two places. The one place is where he took initiation. The other place is where it said three Prabhus are resting. The three Prabhus are Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Nityananda Prabhu, and Advaita Acharya. That the three of them sat together and honored Prasadam there. So it's a very holy place. Uh, Lord Chaitanya, after take, he, he would come here regularly. Lord Chaitanya would come here regularly. Sometimes he would just swim down the Ganga. And by swimming down the Ganga, he'd come here to Shantipur. And 
and there are different pastimes mentioned. Lord Chaitanya would always respect Advaita Acharya because Advaita Acharya was so much elder than him. Advaita Acharya was like a like his grandfather almost. So uh, Lord Chaitanya would always give great respect to Advaita Acharya. But Advaita Acharya wanted to respect Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because he considered Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to be the Supreme Lord. And he felt very pained when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would respect him. So Advaita Acharya devised a plan to make Chaitanya Mahaprabhu angry. And he did it by preaching Mayavadi philosophy. And he got the book called the Yoga Vashishta. And in the Yoga Vashishta, it speaks that the goal of life is Brahman. And we should become one with the Supreme. And we must merge into the oneness. And the Advaita Acharya was speaking about Sayuja Mukti. We have to get Sayuja Mukti. We want to become one with the Lord. And so news came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard about this, then he was very angry, he was very angry, and he came all the way from Mayapur down here, and he got Advaita Acharya, he threw him on the ground, and he beat him. And Advaita Acharya's wife Sachi came and pleaded, "Oh, please, please, you kill my husband! Oh, please, don't kill my husband!" So in this way, uh, Advaita Acharya was very happy. He thought, "Oh, I'm." Now I like this. This is good. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving me real mercy. He was, he wanted that Mahaprabhu would not respect him. And so he was so happy when Lord Chaitanya was beating him. So the many wonderful pastimes took place here. After Lord Chaitanya took sannyas, he wanted to go immediately to Vrindavan. Of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas in Kadwa. We were up in Kadwa yesterday and we heard about Kadwa. And so he, had to, he, he wanted to go immediately to Vrindavan and Lord Nityananda tricked him a little bit and he was asking, is this the way, is this the Vrindavan? And they saw cows and Mahaprabhu thought, oh, cows, oh yeah, it must be Vrindavan, all the cows, so many cows are there. And they said, yeah, yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> And so they were going and, and they were going and going and then they saw the river and said, Oh Yamuna! And then Advaita Acharya appeared in the boat and Lord Chaitanya was surprised and said, Advaita, well, how did you get here in Vrindavan? And Lord Chaitanya said, My Lord, wherever you are, that is Vrindavan. And so Advaita Acharya brought Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda and the other devotees who had been there at the sannyas ceremony, he brought them all here to this place, Shantipur. And then Lord Nityananda sent devotee go back to Mayapur and tell all the devotees to come and tell them that Nimai Pandit is taking sannyas, is here in Shantipur, everyone should come and bring Sachi Mata. So the mother of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, she also came. You can see the picture down there. In the, on, in, the, in the little altar down there, beautiful picture. Mother said she came and saw her son as a sannyasi. So they had a big festival here for 10 days. And the whole day they would uh, be discussing topics of Krishna. And then at night they'd have kirtan. And everybody was, and Mother said she, she's cooking for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's her last opportunity to cook for her son. So she was cooking and Advaita Acharya arranged everything, all the supplies. And the other event which takes place here is the Shantipur festival which is tomorrow on the Dwarasi because tomorrow is the disappearance day of the Guru of Advaita Acharya, Madhavendra Puri. And so Advaita Acharya always honored the disappearance of his guru and he, he would have a huge feast and distribute prasadam for all the people, everyone. You know in India there's a lot of people everywhere and whenever there's a festival and prasadam distribution there'll be more people. Where do they come from? We don't know. 
Maybe the demigods all come from the higher planets. They all come, they all want to get prasadam. But there's always thousands of people. And if you come here tomorrow, there'll be thousands of people. And everybody, everyone who serves prasadam, everyone who cooks the, for the, for the prasadam, and everyone who honors the prasadam, they all get Krishna praying. That's the benediction of coming to that place on the disappearance day of Madhavendra Puri. They get love of God. So here's Ato Krishna Prabhu. He will tell you more about this holy day. Doya Koro Shita Pati Adaita Goshai Tova Kripa Bale Bhai Jaitanya Nidai Adaita Thakur Ki Jai Shri Prabhupada Ki Shabeta Gorbhata Vindagi A little more on this topic of Sachi Mata coming here as Maharaj explained <coughs> All of the Navadi residents came at that time All of the men, all of the women, all of the children, they all came to, to see Chaitanya Mahababu having, having just taken sannyas. And when Sachimata came, she was brought on a palanquin from Navadeep by Chandrasekhar. <clears throat> a palanquin all the way, carried on a palanquin. And so she came because she was so respected by the Navadeep Basi, Sachimata, Mahababu's mother. And when, when she first saw Nimai, with uh, his his shaven head, she, she, she Mahabrabhu fell down and paid obeisances. Namaskar at the lotus feet of Sachimata, and then she saw him. She took him on her lap, and she's crying and she's caressing his body again and again, <clears throat> filled with tears. And then she spoke. It's very interesting what she said. I'll read a few verses from Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhulela, Chapter Three. Kandiya Kohen Shachi Bachare Nimai Bishuruk Shamana Koroho Niturai Bishuruk Shamaha. She says, Oh Bachare Nimai, Bacha means my baby. Bachare Nimai, do not do like Vishuru. Do not do like Vishuru. Who we never we never saw again. We never heard anything of again. As soon as Jagannath Misra and Sachimata, they just briefly were discussing, oh, now the time of Vishwarup's wedding has come, he's reached the age for marriage. They just said that. And Vishwarup could hear. Next day he was gone. And no one ever heard anything about him again. And Vishwarup was the jewel of the Vaishnava society in Navadeep. Every day he would come to Advaita Thakur's house in Navadeep and speak on Gita. And Advaita Thakur, he would stop doing puja. And stand up and receive Vishwarup and embrace him. And Vishwarup took, took sannyasa. The word is, is, is uh, Nikurai means the cruelty. Do not be cruel like Vishwarup. Mm. Mahababa replies, Jani banna jani, koilo jaddapi shanash. I don't, he's saying that knowingly or unknowingly, knowingly or unknowingly, I, somehow I have taken this sannyas. Tathapi tomare kobu nahibo udash, but I, I can never be, I will never be indifferent to you. Now this is very interesting because at this place, we will just imagine the, the atmosphere that Mahaprabhu suddenly took sannyas. He took sannyas to expand the preaching. The smartest, the shaktas, the atheists, and they, they're, they're criticizing me. They're chasing, they're, they're planning to beat me. So when they see me in the sannyasi vesh, sannyasi vesh, then they will fall down at my feet, hold my feet. In this way I will deliver the whole world. For that reason, Mahababu, he suddenly took sannyas without telling any of the Navadik Basis. A few devotees, Mukunda, uh, Gadadha, Chandrasekhar, a few devotees he mentioned. And then he, he, he left, he, he was gone. And then Nityananda Prabhu, as Maharaj described, arranged. You, the boys, you say, when you ask where is Vrindavan, you point him in the direction of the Ganga. So he came here to go. Nityananda Prabhu, devotee care. Devotee care. How can the Navadeep Devasis tolerate Mahaprabhu suddenly taking sannyas? At least give us some time to, to associate with him. 
So they all in the Navadip Vasis came here. You could imagine those kirtans. Nityananda Goshai, uh, Mahaprabhu, Advaita Thakur, Gadadha Pandit dancing, the Panchatattva dancing at night. Hmm? All the Navadip Vasis, Mahaprabhu and Sanyasi Vesh, they know he's, he's leaving. Uh, they know he's leaving for sannyas. Imagine the, the bath the, uh, of those kirtans. Mahaprabhu is saying that to, to such... So from here Mahaprabhu decides to go to Jagannath Puri. Prior to coming here, uh, uh, th th that decision wasn't made. So this is very interesting why he decides to go to Jagannath Puri. Let's hear. So Mahaprabhu responds to Sachimata. Tumi jaha koro, tumi jaha koho, ami tahan rahibo, where you say, Amitahan Rahibu, there I will stay. Where you say, where you tell me to stay, there I will stay. Tumi She Agya Koro, She To, Koribo, whatever you order me, whatever you order me, I will do. Eta Boli Puna Puna Kore Namaskar, saying this again and again, Mahaprabhu offering obeisances to such Himata. Tushta Hoya, Ai Koile Kohe. Barba. Oh, sorry, that's Tushto Hoya Ai Kale. Again, being satisfied with that statement, Mahaprabhu is saying, She's coming. She, he's, he, she didn't, he, he suddenly took Sanyas, his son. Vishwarup gone. You know, before Vishwarup was born, Sachimata had six daughters. They all passed away. Imagine how attached she was to Vishwarup. Vishwarup took Sanyas. Imagine how, how attached she was to Nimai. Jagannath Mishra, he left the world. Therefore, we chant Jai Shachi Nandan, Jai Shachi Nandan, Jai Shachi Nandan, Gaur Hari. Jai Shachi Nandan, the, the, he's the, dear, the dearest of Masachi. <clears throat> so when he said that, wherever you order, then I will stay there. She was satisfied. She was, she was appeased. Hmm? And so she took him on, a, on his lap, on, on her lap again and again. Let's hear the devotees who were here at that time. Some of the devotees, Kavaraj Goswami mentions, who were present during this event. Shiva, because by hearing their names, we're purified. Godange Roshangi Gone Nitta Shitha Korimone. These are all the eternal Brajabashis from Vrindavan who appeared in Gormandal Bhumi to associate with Krishna in the form of Shachinanda. Sriva Shramai, Bidda Nidhi, Godadhar, Gangadash, Bakresha, Murari, Shuklambar. Bodhi Manta Khan, Nandan, Shrida Bijoy, Vasudev Bash, Damodar Mukunda Shanjai. Kota Nam Laibo, Jota Navadi Bashi, Kota Nam Laibo, how many names I will say? Jota Navadi Bashi, all of the residents of Navadi, Jota Navadi Bashi. Shabade Mirila Prabhu Kripa Trishti Hashi, seeing them all come, Mahabhu bestowed is merciful. Glance upon him and, and, and was very happy. So the devotees were, were, were serving Mahaprabhu, a, a Thakur, Advaita Prabhu, he was arranging the, 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 the prasadam. And then other devotees were inviting Mahaprabhu, will you please, can we cook, can we feed you? During that 10 day period. So hearing this, Mother Sachi explained that. She explained that, 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 that at least give me the opportunity to cook every day here. Because if you can, wherever he goes, you can, you propose, you can go, you can see him. But when will I see him again? So at least give me the opportunity that I'm cooking <laughs> only such a for that 10 day period. And during those kirtans in the evening, such a would cook the feasts, prasadam. In, in, in the day, there was interaction at Radha Thakur, the, the Panchatattva, all the Navadip Vasis, and in the evening, Kirtan. Kirtan Kori Te Prabhu, Sharva Bhavu Doi. Kirtan Kori Te Prabhu, Sharva Bhavu Doi. All of the ecstatic symptoms would manifest in Mahap, Sharva Bhavu Doi. All of the uh, symptoms of, of love of Godhead would, would, would manifest in Mahaprabhu during those Kirtans. Stamba Kampa, Pulaka Shru, God Goda, Pralai. Stamba. As a stamba, he would become stunned. Kampa, he would, his body would tremble and quiver. Pulaka Shru, his hair would stand on end. God Goda, his voice would choke up. And Pralai, 
It means devastation. <laughs> what, is, what is devastation? <laughs> devastation. Whatever that is. And he would smash to the ground in the kirtans, quivering, his, his hair standing on end, his stumba, he would smash to the ground. Seeing this, Shachimata, she cried, Alas! Alas! My dear Lord, she prayed to Lord Narayan, My dear Lord, please bestow upon me this one benediction, Shachimata, at this place she prayed. Mbalakhale, hoite, tomare, all of the service I have done to you since childhood. The fruit of that, the fruit of all of that savor I have done to you since childhood. The fruit of that. Give me a benediction. Give me a benediction. This is very interesting. <laughs> All of the service I've done, the fruit of that, for, I want a benediction. Give me a benediction. Narayan. Very interesting. Jai kale nimai pore dharani upore biata jena nahi lage nimai shori re. Jai kale. That time nimai pore dharani upore. When he falls on the earth, when he crashes to the earth, that time. He will feel no pain in his body. So when, when, when Mother Sachi, she made this request about that only I will cook, only I will cook. Hearing this, Mahaprabhu could understand that the devotees were all <clears throat> they, were, they were in anxiety. There was a great anxiety. So then he began to speak. This is also very interesting. It's almost like he, reg he regrets taking sannyas. Oh, well, not exactly regrets, but he... It's, very, it's a painful situation for, for Mahabrabhu also. And he speaks. He says that, Although I've suddenly accepted the renounced order, but I will never be indifferent to you. I cannot give you up. Shanna shir dharma nahe Shannash Koriya Nija Janmashtane Rahe Kutumbalaya. It's not the duty of a sannyasi. Sannyash Dharma Nahe Nija Janmashtane Rahe. Sannyasi is not allowed to, to remain in his birthplace. Birth Kutumbalaya with his relatives. This is not the duty of the, this is the, the Dharma, Sannyas Dharma. So make some arrangement. Mahabhubhu says, make some arrangement whereby. Uh, I, I can not leave you, that's everybody, that's all the Navadip Basis and Sachimata, not leave you, and at the same time, no one will blame me. No one will blame me, criticize me. Because even a little discrepancy in the, in the behavior of a sannyasi, that becomes uh, advertised everywhere. So, I, I, I'm, I'm I accepted sannyas to, to induce people to respect me, to get the blessings of Krishna. And if there's one little discrepancy, then this will be, this is unacceptable. But I cannot give you up. So make an arrangement. So then all the devotees, they looked at Sachimata. Because she, Mahabrabhu had said, wherever you stand, wherever you say, I will stay. And your order I will accept. So they all looked at Sachimata. And then Sachimata said, Well, yes, it's my great happiness. It will be my great happiness if Nimai stays in Mayapur, in Navadip. But it will be more painful for me if I hear people criticize him. Tate e jukta bhalo. Moremon lai. So therefore, Moremon lai. In my mind, I'm thinking this is a good solution. Tate e jukta bhalo. Mone mon lai nila chale rahe jodi dui karja hoi nila chale rahe you stay in nila chale jagannath puri and then a dui karja hoi lai a dui, dui karja hoi then these two dharmas you can fulfill because uh, uh, jagannath puri and, and mayapur like two rooms in the one house and there's always coming and going 
Mayapur, from, not from Bengal, go to Hoite. Devotees will go to Jagannath Puri for Jagannath Darshan. And from Puri, the Utkal, Nilachal, devotees will come to Godadesh for Mahavangrashnan. So they will be coming and going. I will get news. I will get news. And in this way, I will be able to sustain my life. And then she says, Tumi, she says to Mahabrabhu, Tumi, Shof, Korite, Paro, Gomon, Agamon. Oh, she says to all the devotees, yeah, Tumi, Shof, Korite, Paro, Gomon, Agamon, you can all go. And, and, and in that way I will get news when you come back. Ganga Shnan, Kobu, Hobe, Tar, Agamon. Ganga Shnan, Kobu, Hobe, Tar, Agamon. And he may also come. He may also come to take bath in Madhanga. And in, in, in Puri, Mahaprabhu said that to Sabhavama Bhakta Chaja and Ramananda Roy that when he was making, they gave him permission to go to Vrindavan after two years, South Indian two or two years. Then they kept him in Puri. And then eventually he was requesting again and again, let me go to Vrindavan. And eventually they gave permission. And then he said, Go to Hoite Duri Shama Shai. In Gauradesh, I have two shelters. Janani, Janodhi, Eidui, Doyamoy. Ma Ganga and Sachi Mata. They're very merciful. So I will go to Vrindavan via Bengal. And again, Mahaprabhu came to Shantipur at that time. So he did come to take part in the Ganga as Sachi Mata, Prabhu, as Sachi Mata uh, uh, predicted. Shuni Bhaktagon Tare Koryala Shtabon. Hearing Mother Sachi say this, that you stay in Nilachal, Jagannath Puri. Shuni Bhaktagon. Uh, Tare, Koryala, Shabon, they all offered prayers. Shabon, they all offered prayers to Mother Sachi. Beda, Agya, Jaite, Mata, Tomar, Bachan, and whatever, Tomar, Bachan, whatever Mother Sachi says, that is like a Vedic injunction. So they are all very pleased, and in this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, from here, he took permission from all the devotees and he began his journey to Jagannath Puri. Panchatatra ki? Yeah. Advaita Thakur ki? Yeah. Shri Shachinanan Gaur Hari ki? Yeah. Shamaveta Gaur Bhakta Vrinda ki? Yeah. Shri Dha Prabhupada ki? Yeah. Thank you, Shri. Krishna Choi